Hey everyone, Miranda here, and today I have a sort of special haul, I guess you could say. It's nothing fancy, but just let me tell you guys. So if you guys saw on my Instagram, I posted a picture of $35, and those $35 came from me cashing in my cans and bottles. So here in Oregon, we have a bottle deposit, so any bottle you buy, whether it be can, plastic, um glass whatever um we get charged an extra 10 cents so say you know i buy like a 12 pack of soda or something i'm gonna be paying like a dollar 20 more than the actual price or i buy like a 24 pack of water i'm gonna be paying two dollars and 40 cents more and lots of people don't think to go and sell their uh or like exchange their cans and bottles in um but we do because you guys if you don't it's like you're throwing money away now i know oregon is one of the better paid for a bottle deposit obviously 10 cents and i think also maine is like 10 cents but i know lots of other states they only do five cents but still you guys like it's like you're spending the money but you're not getting anything for that money um so I mean, go cash it in because you guys, seriously, it adds up. Even if it comes out to like 20 bucks, that 20 bucks could go towards a bill. It could go towards gas in your car. It could go towards groceries. So with the $35 that I got, I went to Winco and I went to Winco because on a very, very, very rare occasion, they happen to send out coupons, whether it be for products or a certain amount off of your purchase. So they sent a coupon in the mail for $10 off of a $50 purchase. Um, so I wanted to take advantage of that, you know? Um, so um, the only thing that was excluded from the coupon was milk, but obviously I needed milk, you guys, and I tried to get things that I needed, not so much things that I wanted, um, and basically, you guys, I only spent out of my own pocket, like, $7 and some change, because obviously my cans, they came out to $35, and then to make the uh, $40, you know, since the coupon brought from $50 down to 40. Um, so I only ended up paying all together here the like 42 something. Um, Cause like I said, the milk was ex excluded from the coupon, which is really weird, but whatevs. Um, so yes, this is what I got with my bottle deposit money and like $7 and some change out of my pocket. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys. Obviously a huge chunk went towards the meat. Um, I did buy the, just a pound of ground beef, you guys, and it is the 7%. Um, it's the more leaner meat. Um, so obviously it's almost five bucks there. I bought this double pack of the, um, I guess they call it like a pork picnic boneless roast. So I will be able to get two meals out of that. I'm going to be making my hubby his uh, enchiladas. He's been like bugging and bugging. Even though I just recently made them, he wants them again. So I went ahead and picked this up. So I'll use like the bigger one for that. And then the smaller one I will use for like something else. Alright, so I did also pick up this package of chicken leg quarters. This is going to be like perfect, like portion it out. I mean, it'll be like one for me, one for hubby, one for my brother, and then one for the kiddos to split, which I'll like probably shred it up or something like that. So this is perfect, and it was only like five bucks, so that's not bad at all. I will say though, produce, you guys, like I swear, produce is going up in price, which is really annoying um, to think that I paid like $2.00 for these serrano peppers um when like you know i want to say maybe like last year they were only like a dollar 25 um the jalapenos oh my gosh those went up even more um those are also they were only like 10 cents less a pound and so i figured i'd just get the serrano because i would get more for my like two dollars that i spent on these um kiddos were out of fruit snacks i just wanted to get them a little box so that they have these for a little snack option um, my kiddos, they love the chocolate, like, Pop-Tarts, they love the s'mores ones, they like the fruity ones, but they don't like the ones that I like, which is what we have on hand right now, the brown sugar cinnamon, so I went ahead and just picked a box of these up so that they can have them as a breakfast option. Um, tortillas here, we always buy this brand because this is so far the cheapest brand that I have found, it's like $2.18 a pack, um... So, yeah, 
picked up two packs of those because y'all know we go through tortillas like crazy. Um, I'm surprised that Coffee Mate was on sale at Winco. It was only like $2.48, um, which is also like what you would pay for like the off-brand like at Walmart. Um, but they had the cinnamon vanilla cream, sounded good. I think we may have had this before, not quite sure, but we go through coffee a lot. I sh probably should have picked up two to get through the week, but you know, for now, just the one until I can get to like grocery outlet to do a bigger haul. Um, got the big pack of the flour tortillas for the enchiladas. Milk, 1%, just one gallon to get us through the week. Um, I did pick up a little thing of sour cream just to have on hand. Uh, I got, this time I picked up the right one. <laughs> um, just some enchilada sauce for the enchiladas I'll be making for hubby. I had gotten one last time at, I think it was Walmart, and I didn't realize it was the green one, um, and I needed the red one, so. So I'm probably going to be making some, like, taco mac and cheese tonight, so I did get my ragu double cheddar sauce. I love this stuff. It's so good. Um, we, oh, personally, me, like, I don't really do the whole Velveeta. One, it's super expensive, and two, like, I don't know, it's just, I don't really like the flavor of it, but I love this stuff, and this stuff, like, I can only find this at Winco, so, yes, I had to get this. I'd been craving burritos for the longest time ever, and, like, at work, this one girl, every single day, she eats burritos, and it has been driving me nuts. And I am so picky when it comes to burritos. I will only eat the Reese's brand. I don't like the like Monterey brand or whatever the other brands are. I only eat these ones. So I picked up a pack um, and the plus it'll be a nice little like lunch option for me for the kiddos. Picked up just a thing of bologna. Um, it was only like 98 cents. So I mean for sandwiches this week to kind of get us through. That's fine. Picked up a couple packs of just the Foster Farms Turkey Franks. Like to just have hot dogs on hand for like a lunch option for the kiddos. Sometimes we do like hot dogs and potatoes. Sometimes we'll chop it up, add it into eggs. Just there's so many things you can do with hot dogs other than just hot dogs. <laughs> I did pick up a little bunch of bananas here. I got some yogurt for like hubby's lunches this week. It's just the YoPlay original for strawberry for peach. And then some lunch options for me. I did pick up the two pack of the cheddar cheeseburger hot pockets. I'm not sure if I've ever had this one before. It just sounded really good. And then of course, Mama had to get her ma banquet mega bowls, the buffalo style mac and cheese. I am so obsessed with this stuff, you guys. It is so freaking good. So that is everything that I got, you guys. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but like I said, kind of a big portion went towards the meats there. Um, and so this is what I got with my bottle return money, you guys. Like I said, it adds up. We took in like five garbage bags full of cans and bottles and everything. And so, yeah, you guys, if you're ever running through like a hardship or anything, go cash in your bottles. If you're, I mean, like obviously if your state does that, I don't think all states do it. Um, but if they do, I mean, it's money. It could be money in your pocket. And it's like money that you've already spent and you're getting it back. So, anywho, you guys, that's my haul. 35 from a bottle deposit, about 7 and some change from my own pocket. And plus I had a $10 off coupon. I think that's pretty great. So, thanks for watching, everyone. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.